The Gallipoli Peninsula, a strategic point guarding the Dardanelles Strait, was the stage for one of World War I's most ambitious military operations. On a chilly spring morning, thousands of Anzac troops disembarked under the cover of darkness, facing not only geographical hurdles, but also a determined Ottoman defense that was underestimated by Allied command. As daylight broke, the reality of their situation became evident. The rugged terrain, combined with strong enemy fortifications, made advancement perilously slow and costly. Initial optimism faded as the troops dug in, preparing for what would become a protracted and grueling conflict. Despite the adversity, the spirit of the Anzacs began to manifest. Stories of heroism and mateship flourished even in those early days, setting the tone for what would be a defining moment in their national histories. Gallipoli's landscape was a nightmare of steep ridges and dense scrub, offering little cover from enemy fire. The Anzacs, facing a well-entrenched enemy, fought under conditions that would test the limits of any soldier. Supplies were often insufficient, and diseases were rampant among the troops. Personal accounts from soldiers like John Simpson Kirkpatrick, who with his donkey rescued wounded soldiers under heavy fire, highlight the extraordinary acts of bravery that punctuated daily life at the front. Yet each act of valor was shadowed by great loss. The toll of the campaign was steep in human lives. Leadership on the ground from figures like General Sir Ian Hamilton faced critical decisions that would influence not only the outcome of the battle, but also the future of military strategy. Their choices, often made under incredible stress, have been studied in military circles ever since. After eight grueling months, the Anzac forces were evacuated in December 1915. It was a strategic withdrawal, but perceived by many as a defeat. Yet this campaign forged a new level of national identity for Australia and New Zealand, celebrated annually on Anzac Day to honor the fallen and remember their courage. The legacy of Gallipoli is not just in the strategic lessons learned, but in the narrative of endurance and sacrifice that became central to the national stories of these countries. The ordeal at Gallipoli became a symbol of national pride and a testament to human resilience. Discussions about Gallipoli often focus on what it means to sacrifice for one's country and the bonds formed in the crucible of shared hardship. These themes continue to resonate in contemporary society, influencing perceptions of military and national service. Today, Gallipoli is remembered not just in Australia and New Zealand, but around the world. Memorials stand not only on the windswept shores of the peninsula, but also in the hearts of people as a symbol of courage against seemingly insurmountable odds. Educational programs and historical documentaries ensure that the lessons and stories from Gallipoli are passed down to future generations. As we reflect on these events, the enduring message is clear, the spirit of Anzac with its core values of bravery, mateship and sacrifice, continues to inspire and teach us about the complexities of human nature and the cost of freedom.